today and at Rodrigo's castle. Today we will film at two different spots. The first spot is at the Christ the King of Marofa and the second one will be at Rodrigo's castle, locally known as Castelo Rodrigo. So let's get started with the first spot and the first shot. I will begin with an orbit around the Christ to show the landscape of the location. For this I am going to move right and rotate left. Another way to show the landscape and the location is by revealing it from the button. For this I am going to move up and tilt the camera down. I like to always take both shots to have more material to work with. Let's now move to our second location. Ok, I am now at the second location and was preparing to shoot the first shot of Rodrigo's castle when I saw this crossroad that might make for an interesting shot. Crossroads and roads in general are always more interesting when a car is passing through the frame. So I will wait for the moment a car is approaching to initiate the shot by moving up and when the car has entered and exited the frame I will add an upward gimbal movement. Let's now take actual shots of Rodrigo's castle and start with a shot where we move towards the castle by moving in front, up and tilting the gimbal down. The aim of this shot is to keep the castle always in the center of the frame and ending up with the drone looking down on the castle. Let's now take advantage of the position we are currently in and show the castle from the top by making a simple upward movement. For the next shot we are going to orbit around the castle by moving left and rotating right. I am going to make a complete orbit around the castle to capture the different lightning conditions around the castle and recommend that when you do an orbit also at least do one complete orbit. You can even do more than one complete orbit around your point of interest in a in hope that a bird crosses the frame or something else interesting happens.
Let's next do another orbit but closer to the castle and in the opposite direction by moving right, rotating left and tilting the camera up. Ok, for our next shot we are going to take close-up shots of the castle and we will begin by flying closely to the castle by moving in front and up. Next we will fly over the castle by moving back and up. For our final shot, we are going to move back and up while tilting the camera down to always keep the castle in the center. This shot is always a good idea for an ending scene. And that was it for today, click this video next to see the end result of this tutorial.